anticipation of next week's release of the live-action version of The Jungle Book, the three of us decided to sit down and take a look at the 1967 animated version. I hadn't seen it since I was about maybe seven or eight years old, and really the only parts I remembered from it was uh, Blue seeing the bare necessities with Mowgli. Mm -hmm. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Mm -hmm. And something about the tiger, Shaka Khan or something. <laughs> it's me, Shere Khan. Really, a Disney movie from the golden age of Disney movies, mm -hmm. then I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought there was more after the end when he gets back to the village. Mm. I could could have sworn there was more. And then we pick up with Blue later flying an airplane. <laughs> Live action version of Tailspin, could that be next? I vote for it. I'm there. Bill Murray as Baloo. John Goodman as Baloo. I've always pictured John Goodman doing Baloo's voice if they ever remade it. No, nothing against Bill Murray, I, I enjoy his work, but John Goodman, he's just a big bear. So Chris, uh, as the one who hasn't seen it before, what did you think? Oh, it was a nice movie. It was very well drawn. The animation really holds up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the animation is incredible. I'm sure at some point I have seen scenes of this before, because parts seem familiar. Some of the songs look, seem familiar because I've seen them on YouTube, or people have been watching them. And I know I've heard some of the songs before, because I believe my nephew has a Songs of Disney CD, <laughs> and so some of them were familiar. Mm -hmm. But it was a really good film. I enjoyed the story, I enjoyed the act, the acting, I guess. Or the way the characters develop. Yeah, to me, like, this is kind of one of the earliest Disney movies I remember watching and enjoying. Uh, it was one of my absolute favorites as a kid. I'm sure I played The Bare Necessities enough times to just drive my parents absolutely insane. That was, that was my absolute favorite Disney song at the time. The voice actor for Blue, absolutely incredible. It's kind of one thing, like, I, I really do love Bill Murray. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about is I loved Baloo so much Yeah. that, you know, is is Bill Murray going to be up to the task? I think so because he's Bill Murray and I really like him, but man, these original voices, the voice of Shere Khan, for example, what an incredible oh. talent. Hmm. Indeed. For the new movie, it'll depend on how close they are going to play it to the original mm -hmm. or how much they're going to make it their own. Yeah. Because Bill Murray will not do this version of Baloo. No, yeah. and I don't think he should. He should try to put his yeah. own spin on it. They, this movie can't be the cartoon just done by CGI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because who's Shere Khan in this? Is that Idris Elba or is that Ben Kingsley? Yeah, Idris Elba is and Shere Khan. Ben Kingsley's Bagheera. Bagheera, correct. Right. Yeah. Well, that's a good guess. Yeah. 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 So, reading last night about the Jungle Book, just trying to see some facts, I learned that it is the Disney movie that has the fewest number of female characters and lines in mm -hmm. it. Uh, Ninety-eight percent of the lines in the movie are spoken by male. What? A female leading my herd? Utterly preposterous! So it's kind of interesting that for this live-action one, they've gone back to the original book mm -hmm. and made Ka a female, like she is in the book, uh, played by Scarlett Johansson, which is pretty oh, cool. Oh, that'll be cool. Who do they have doing Carol Hathy in the new movie? That's a great question. I actually don't know. He had the perfect. That's quiet. <laughs> British yeah. voice for that. It was top level. Oh, he was really good. Just smacking of British colonialism in there. <laughs> it, was, it was an interesting um, slice of uh, history. Yeah, yeah, really. Which the book is as well. Um, yeah, I've never read the book. It's on the, it's on the list. Mm -hmm. ever-growing list of books to read. If you ever get the chance, read the original Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. It is a great book. Dan, what do you kind of hope to see in the new movie? Well, this is an interesting one for me because, you know, I have very high hopes for this movie, but at the same time, you know, the original Jungle Book to me was so iconic and such a huge part of my childhood that, you know, I have to admit I'm a little worried, uh, but, you know, the, the voice talent that they have mm -hmm. for this movie is incredible. Um, and like what we've seen in the trailers looks really great. So, you know, I'm anticipating that it's, it's going to be on my shelf in the future. I'm looking forward to seeing it again and the reimagining of the characters, like turning King Louie into just a little orangutan into some sort of giant monstrosity. It'll be interesting to see him singing and dancing. Yeah. And played by Christopher Walken. 
Oh, which is interesting. Wow, wow, I that'll be. Him. <laughs> yep, that'll be an interesting take on King Louis. It kind of looks like they might be trying to take it kind of a darker place, mm. maybe a little more gritty and realistic. And I hope they don't go too crazy on that. I like going to movies to escape how dark and gritty life can be, mm. so I, I, I really hope that the songs are in it and it has that same kind of happy-go-lucky feel that you get when you watch the movie. Well, next week you'll be finding out what we thought of the new Jungle Book movie, and, you know, we hope it's really good and we hope you enjoy our review of it. Until then, this is The Three Nerds, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye!